Hello, my name is Sabrina Templo. Today is June 25th, 2020, and this video is for Bio 225, Week 7, for the antibiotic sensitivity, Kirby Bauer diffusion test results and reflection. I actually incubated my agar plate for more than 12 hours, um, over 24 hours, because at the 12 hour mark, there was very little growth, more on a lot of specs. So I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but I will show you since I have my gloves on. There were very few colonies that formed. I'm not sure if you could see it clearly. I have some colonies here and some colonies here. And that's about it. During the experiment when Using the L spreader, obviously we use it to spread the bacteria evenly across the agar plate, or also known as the bacterial lawn. I was actually expecting some growth like turbidity um, to indicate that there was bacteria on the plate, just like on the exploration portion of the lab. Uh, since this is the last week, we had done a variety of labs using these cultures. So I'm guessing, uh, or my hypothesis on why this did not really work, um, maybe because my S. epidermidis is not as potent anymore or as effective because of the number of times it has been opened and closed. So it was quite unfortunate to see this kind of result. I did enjoy learning about the antibiotics and the different types of antibiotics. So there is bacteriostatic antibiotic, which freezes where bacteria are and stop them from growing. Novobiosin and gentamicin are both bacteriostatic antibiotics. Then we have uh, the bactericidal antibiotic, which completely kill bacteria and also stop them from growing. Penicillin is a, a bactericidal antibiotic, so those are the two different types of antibiotics. For this week, we use penicillin, novobiosin, and gentamicin which came in our lab kit and is now on our plate, which have been there since yesterday. Penicillin is a narrow spectrum gram positive antibiotic. Um, it is a bacterial, um, it is a bactericidal and is the only one out of the three. Novobiosin is a narrow spectrum gram positive antibiotic and it is a bacteriostatic. Gentamicin is a narrow spectrum gram negative, but is also gram positive with the Staphylococcus family. And gentamic gentamicin is also bacterial static. I was actually expecting penicillin to be the most effective of the three antibiotics, um, considering it is a narrow spectrum gram positive um, and is a bactericidal meaning that it will kill anything in its way that grows within its targeted parameters um the other two novobiosin and gentamicin i was expecting them to have similar growth depending on suppression because again they are both bacterial static um, they are just meant to find bacteria um, and stop it right at its tracks so possibly that is why there's barely any growth around that area. When uh, I measured for the zones of inhibition, it was noted that gentamicin had the largest zone of inhibition measuring at 11 millimeters. Novobiosin came in uh, second with 10 millimeters and penicillin at two millimeters. Um, my results did not support my hypothesis since I thought penicillin would have the largest zone of inhibition. So I did some research since my hypothesis was not as I hoped for. And I learned that penicillin is very effective in stopping Staphylococcus epidermidis and that novobiosin and gentamicin also do a great job in stopping the spread of the bacteria. For exercise two, we learned about penicillium with canidia. 
and we viewed it through the microscope and it was quite interesting to compare the differences of what I saw in week two and to see more details this time around. Uh, for example, the canidium, which are the single dots that are on the whole slide and it and being able to see the canidia, which is the strand, being able to see the phthalide, which kind of looks like the like a base, the base or the bulb of the flower. Um, just an overview, although I was disappointed in my S. epidermidis bacteria that did not grow as expected, it was still quite interesting to explore on my own and to figure out what my results could have been or should have been if I had a much newer culture of S. epidermidis. Additionally, it was interesting to see that this is the antibiotic that is very popular and what it really is and to be able to see under the microscope and to see exactly what it is as well as its structure um, and researching its benefits. And that concludes my video for week seven. Thank you.